What's going on guys? So today we're going to do something a little bit different on this Shoki review because this is sort of half of a Nick review. What's up? So I'm a good buddy Nick. I actually bought this kit for not that long ago. If you watch the Shoki vlogs, you saw that. And uh, so he actually managed to knock that out really quick and brought it over. But uh, by now we've already seen the unboxing slash box review. So we're going to do what we can with this. And maybe it'll be a time lapse. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's take a quick look at the box from my point of view because I haven't seen it yet. So we got Dragon Ball Super right there. Yay for that. You've got blue haired Goku. Oh, by the way, yeah, I didn't read it. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Son Goku. They did the whole thing. Dude, nothing has a longer name than that gun cannon I just did. <laughs> it literally comes completely across the box. We'll look right. at that. I'll show you later. But this is a figureized standard kit, guys. We haven't looked at one of those. I have wanted to build them for a while. And honestly, we were sort of fighting over who was going to end up with this kit. And I said, I will buy it for you because I'm a nice person like that. But I did want to point out something really, really funny. Zoo! Nick pointed it out already on his thing, but I had to do it because it looks like he's just shooting water at you. It's all the comic things. And realistic, and we're gonna look at it when we get there. But the uh, it, the fact that it looks like water and the fact that it's a Kamehameha wave, <laughs> actually, no, I mean it's a good thing. It sort of mixes in, and I just burped up tuna. That was great. And quick looking at here, block, crack, foo. I don't know why he's fooing with the uh, instant transmission. And then zoo, he's zooming again. And he got two different facial expressions. Straight Goku, angry Goku. It's all good. And then you got angry Goku making blue fire on himself. And then you get all this stuff and things. Very quick little box review because realistically Nick already did all that work for me. But it's all cool. I actually like the box art. So hopefully we don't have any Toei issues with this for some reason. Mm. Yeah, Because you know they're notorious. I know. But we're not using anything official. So haha. -ha. We are you giving know. you guys the credit. So we got so. the Toei. We got the Funimation there. It's all good. I was I actually did want to like borrow some sound effects and stuff, but I thought, nope, not even gonna play with Toei on this because they are notorious for destroying channels. So guys, let's go ahead. If there's a time lapse, it'll be right now. If there isn't, we're gonna go straight to uh, Goku being done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've got Goku all built and awesome and done. Of course, that's just movie magic because you guys already knew that it was done. Anyways, so this thing is actually really awesome, and uh, my my phone seems to really like the orange and blue combination because, <laughs> like, it's like, I'm not doing anything with it, and it looks fantastic. But this is actually a very, very cool kit, and I think it's always been a bit of a problem to make something that was a 2D animation, especially anime hair, come to life in a realistic three-dimensional way and uh, if anybody was going to do it it's going to be bandai yeah you know <laughs> so and they did it right yeah they did a really good job actually you did a good job building it with the exception of the one thing i had to fix for you but you know you wouldn't have known it wasn't a problem you thought i, I didn't even build this kit guys and i had to fix it for him he had a little bit of an issue with the center uh, torso joints we figured it out no big deal but thank god we did because it might have broken otherwise yeah so, hey, we fixed it before the review started. But we have a ton of accessory, accessories mm -hmm. going on here. Uh, so let's start off with the obvious. We'll go with the weird figure eyes stand. Well, I can't, I can't hold anything. My fingers are so slick. So it's technically a figure eyes stand, stand, adapter, adapt. I can't talk. Adaster. It's an adaster. All right, so if you have any kind of regular stand, actually, um, where's that? Give me that one that was sitting right there, actually. Oh. It, it, it's not going to work because it's not tall enough for him, but essentially you would just push it, that. Yeah. You know, if that's going to fall off all the time, what's the point in it? Should it, should it like, attach, attach? Probably just to see what it. I feel like perhaps something is being done incorrectly. Hmm. Maybe it works better one way than the other. Yep. It was literally upside down. So if you want to use that, you literally just stick a Goku in it. And that's very awkward in and of its own self. But hey, that if you have just a basic little crappy stand like I do here, hey, it does actually work. I, I figured it wouldn't hold him up. But, you know, he's a little bit heavier than a standard HG, but not yeah, quite. Yeah, he's got some weight to he's him. He's floating. Okay, so we're going to leave him on that for now. Stand not included. All right. This stand is included. So this is our Kamehameha stand, and it is a basic effects part stand. So you just pop the little dealy hoo out here if it wants to be dealy hooed. Was it set at perfect height already? Because you already had it set up. 
So you can just slide it in and out, up and down, and it does rotate. I think that stand's come with a few like HD Gundam kits before. Uh, I do know a very specific kit that it does come with. Uh, I don't believe it's clear, and that is the Hoshmall. Yeah. Yeah. So you get something very, very similar to this with the uh, HD Hoshmall, which I have not built yet, but I have uh, worked with. However, you also get this, the Kamehameha Blast, which, yes, looks like a big gush of water. Or if you have a really perverted mind, I'm just, you, Some other you already see the thing that you think it is. <gasps> However, this is the exact same beam effect that you get with the Hoshmall. So it's funny that these figureized kits came out at the same time. Bandai magic. Bandai magic. But you do actually get... There's the hole. Okay. I had to find the right hole. So mm. you can totally get the beam effect set up. And later on when we get him playing with the actual thing, we will show that off. But for now, we're going to set the big blue... Um, Command man wave. That no. over here, magically off camera. Speaking of small blue command man waves, you get this ridiculous little ball of nuggetness, and yeah, it literally is supposed to be a command man being held in the hands, uh, or charging rather, I should yeah. say. So we'll show off how that works because it perfectly integrates with these really strange Kamehameha. clasping hands. Mm. And, of course, he's an H HG-style kit, so it'll just basic ball joint placements. And they are angled out at a 45-ish degree angle so that you can make with Kamehameha wavies. Though, of course, you have to figure out exactly where all the joints are going to happen. Takes a little work. Yeah, you gotta you got to do a little bit of finagling. A little high teacher there. We'll do the high teacher later. Ooh. But you can basically do this. Now, he's not going to be able to pull the hand like way down like you normally would do. But you get a basic setup right there. Which isn't bad. It's actually not bad, actually. For the first time, me actually doing that, it wasn't terrible. So, you can actually do that number. And if one were so inclined that you could tilt him, because normally he's doing a tilt. Oh, just wait till we get an Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh. So we can totally have him destroying a... Uh, A Kafla, or what is it? Kafla, Kafla. Yeah. Oilers. But yeah, you can totally do a charging Kamehameha thingy. Yeah. Alright, but we sort of skipped it a minute ago. You do get punchy, punchy hands. Those just go in there so you can totally punch people. You did a decent job of a little bit of panel line shading there, Nick. I try. He tries. Though I will say the ball joints are like a hair too small. Like they should just be a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Maybe we need to build them up with some glue or something. Yeah, that was the only real complaint I had is the hands come out yep. pretty. And as you guys can you guys can see he is fairly poseable. We'll go over articulation here in a bit. I'm gonna take him off the stand for the moment. Get him back to actually standing up. Which sometimes is weird. He has tiny feet. His his crotch is not cooperating. But, speaking of crotches not cooperating, you do get the instant transmission fingers, which, um, yeah. Thousand years of death. Get it right, Nick. What's, what's the Japanese? That's what you're here for. <laughs> oh, so I... <laughs> Subtitles. So, so for anybody who, who is obviously a fan of Naruto, and actually that's only one finger, like this, that's not... That's not a double finger, but yes, yeah, so he is referencing the Taijutsu Ogi Senen Goroshi. <laughs> but of course, this is a right hand because Goku is right handed. Come here, Chi Chi. No, no, <laughs> we're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> Though it would be nice if they gave him like a, a little bit of a wrist, like an actual like right. wrist motion. So he can do an instant transmission like so. And he's just, you know, watch this. Oh, he's gone. Look at that. Oh, it's the transmission. That was amazing. Bandai magic. Wait, here he comes. He's coming back. Wait. See? He moved all the way back there. All right. We're dorks. <laughs> oh, wow. Just okay. So, take that off. And he does still have one more little accessory. He has the screamy Goku face. So, the way we do that, we'll go ahead and pop the head off. Just on a little Headless ball joint there. Actually, is that... Should those be, like, collapsed together better? No, that's just how it is. Okay. I don't know. You built the kit. All right, so you take your weird new floaty head Goku, 
and you want to grab basically the whole front of the face and yank off the hair. Now you're just missing a widow's peak for Vegeta. Yeah, so guys, realistically, and because we haven't built Vegeta yet, we honestly think that this is the exact same back of the head for Vegeta. So if you've built the Vegeta kit, tell us. But otherwise, tell us if you see this. Goku, Vegeta. Goku, Vegeta. Goku, <laughs> Vegeta. Anyways, so you can just grab him by the ears and pull his face right off. And it does actually have a cool layered effect, so you get the eyes right there and if he in the well actually i guess you get the white and the blue part of the eyes so a nice little lay, uh, layered effect there kind of like the figure eyes bust do yeah it's the same thing or the uh the fumina that you get from uh Gundam. that would be it is that a figure oh. eyes? no i'm just talking about the oh regular. the regular fumina yeah. i don't know i thought some of that was stickers it's uh layered yeah okay so here is the of course screaming goku face oh. with the lightly painted redness in the mouth oh the pain yep and then, actually, I know you didn't paint the eyebrows, but they actually do look like they are painted. And so, once again, Goku, no, Vegeta, Goku, Vegeta, Goku. It actually, it's a good fit, too. And by the way, this is very spiky hair, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, keep the spiky hair away from your little children's. And it just pops right back on. And now you have a powering up, angry Goku, who now need to thing. And this would be a great time... To actually have some of those Tamashii effect parts. <laughs> I want to get the blue aura effect parts. Yep. Actually, you know what I need to do for some of these uh, reviews? There's an, a lightning effects pack. That would be great for this because we could literally have like lightning coming off of them. Yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. I actually really dig the metallic look of the hair. Speaking of, let's go ahead and look at closer details and articulation of this guy. Ah! Okay. All right, guys, so realistically, you know, uh, there wasn't like any kind of paint apps or anything. There's apparently only a few stickers, right? Just a few. So you basically get the emblems the logo, here. Yeah. So you get the uh, Kami House uh, logos front and back. Though I wish they had given you the option to do either the King Kai or Kami House or anybody else that, that he's fun. he's worked under. Even like, they've got to have a movie version of this where he's in the, the other gi right. and, and with the Whis, the Whis symbol. I would think. I would want that, to be honest. Or the fact that you go realistically a little bit more screen accurate and not have any emblem whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty cool. We've already sort of looked at the face, all the nice details. They're really cool metallic blue hair. Uh, I do believe the regular Super Saiyan is just straight up yellow. Or, yeah, it's or just, is it a metallic yellow, paint? Like a metallic yellow. It's got to be a metallic yellow, I guess. Yeah. So it looks pretty cool. You get the flesh tone all over this guy. Nick did a decent job of... Panel lining, a little bit of nub work, but you know it is what it is. We can always hand it off to Miss Shoki. Be like, here, clean, clean the nubs. She has a nub cleaning machine, but it does look really cool. And coming to the neck, you definitely get that anime long neck, but it's actually proportionally correct. Mm -hmm. Actually, looks good. And since we're looking at it, he can look down that far. He can look back that far, and you do get the ball joint slash neck movement. So realistically, Goku can turkey neck. Which they looks, did a really good job with that. Well, it looks really awkward. Head goes, ah! Okay. No, actually, it goes, ah! Okay. Anyways. It's too much fun. Effects. Too much fun. Yep. Uh, blue under undergarments right through here. Although, the there's a whole lot of loose separation there. So, it's very much like a Gundam's shoulder armor. Mm -hmm. It's just floating. I do wish that was attached to something. I think it would look a little bit better. I know. See, my thing, whenever you build it, is yeah. it's, it's a bigger um, extension hole. Yeah. So it's just like, I guess Whoa. they did it so you can articulate it certain ways. But I Yeah, because was... look at this ridiculous butterfly. Whoa. I mean, yeah, you totally break the sculpt. But look at that. You can actually really get those shoulders out. But that that's probably what's going to give you your Kamehameha movement up front, realistically. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you have him back like this, of course, he actually looks really good. You get the medium outness like that, or you get the full butterfly, which you can, like, just, you know, pull out a little bit of accordions slightly. That I'm looks pretty good. Close. Let me see here. Pull the light down a little bit. That might be a little much. Go back up. <laughs> see what happens? I moved my camera once, and I lost all the lighting. All right, so you do get extra shoulder motion here, so ignore all that. The shoulder does go... Up and down, and accordions out on a little bit of a ball joint slash disc hinge. 
Does this rotate or does it stay roughly in the same? Yeah, it stays roughly in the same place. So it rotates with the arm, so you can go all the way around because you really want to break Goku's arm. And as we discussed earlier, he can sort of do a high teacher, but not really. You have to get it all the way and then rotate the thingy. And so he's like, eh? ha! teacher. Insert sound effects. Yes, no, I just have to make them up myself. <laughs> all right, bicep rotation as we saw. And for once, it's an actual bicep rotation. Yay! Now, this isn't one of those kits where the muscles go up like as you do the arms. I think that's the Master Grade versions. Mm -hmm. um, but that's actually really awesome, so you actually get real flexing motion out of it. And he does look awkward, like he's out of Star Wars here with only one hand. Um, <laughs> Single-jointed elbow, which is fine for what it is. That would be the problem with the hands. They have very small ball pegs. They just go flying. I like the fact that he's got his little wrist wristbands. Looks pretty cool, and you can even see from the front, of course, it looks like just a wristband. Gotta love that. Hi, wrist hinge. He's a good, hold on, what am I do? See, realistically, you do it this way. Rip his arm completely out of socket, good lord. And that's almost a dis destructo disc hand. Although he can't do the destructo disc because it cut his hair off. Or, if you do both hands, sorry, I'm getting totally off. Totally off track here. Man, the right side. Spirit bomb. No. No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's doing his backward hands. Spirit bomb. Lend me your energy. So you get the regular Goku with the curling kit and then put him under a lamp. Yeah. No, they should actually just do a big ball. Like a big clear ball that comes with him. Sort of spirit bomb effect. P Bandai. P Bandai spirit bomb. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lower the camera down just a little. Just lay Goku out on the floor. All right, so we do have more more uh, stuff that he can do, because things. So he can go... He's dancing. So he does actually rotate at the waist, and this is where we we're having issues. So he's got a ball joint down here, but then there's another ball joint right above that, along with this nice rocker where he basically breaks his back off, and he can do the Matrix. Like so. But this is where we had issues that we had to go in and fix. But it does kind of accordion, so realistically, you do get a little bit of maneuvering, like so. She's like, what? What's that happening over there? Actually, they do have the Broly coming out, too. That's going to be great. I really want the Broly. Sorry, sidetracking this. does have his uh, belt, more or less, going across the thing. There's his butt. They even have the uh, pleated part right there for the extension, because that's how pants work. Now, the hips are very different on this compared to Gundam or anything else. They're like a weird universal kind of system. Yeah. So it's like swivel out hinge, swivel out hinge, all kinds of stuff. It 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 functions, but you're like, how? How does it do the thing? So, I mean, he can get a decent Jean-Claude, sort of. I mean, it should be perfect, but, it, you know, it is what it is. I've never seen a joint system like this. So, it's, I mean, it's similar to a Gundam, but really split in a weird way. So, it's a ball joint here, a hinge up here, and two swivels on each other, and then another ball joint down here. So, I mean, it, it is definitely meant to do a lot of things. So, you can rotate it at the top, you can rotate it at the middle, you can spin it wherever the heck you want. So, he can be, like, that number. You can go out this way and kick like that. Or if you really want to get a good motion here. Let's see here if we can get him in a decent kick. Okay. That's not too bad. I like it. And, of course, once again, shading through all the nice molded wrinkles. Although the... I guess I can only do so many panel gaps with pants. That's the awkward part. It, you know, you got to make something that's obviously fabric continue the look and as we discovered earlier right he's only got a single jointed knee mm -hmm. guys tell me if you have any problems with the limitations of the single jointed knee yeah it's terrible ain't it <laughs> good lord so it's only a single hinge here but of course they mold in all the nice detail there so it looks like of course the pants are still doing their thing and you can get a great rising knee like so with the broken ankle He's like, nah, yeah, dancing, Yeet. dancing Goku. But that's pretty cool. I actually do like that. I got the big flared out part at the bottom. But here's where we get into a part that Nick had to substitute. 
So all of the red parts on the boots were terrible stickers, right? I hate them. Like super thin stickers that you would have to wrap around. So, of course, he takes his Gundam marker and he does the right thing. He paints the boots. And I think they actually came out really good. Thank you, sir. Maybe a tiny bit of cleanup, but other than that, really good. But you also have the nice little, I don't even know what to call it, just a little rope going around yeah. there. If you guys do want to paint them, I use the uh, the Zaku Orange with the Xeon Gundam marker kit. And, and on the blue, it came out a very nice red. Yeah. So, it's actually exactly how it should be. Uh, the feet are actually like totally action figure feet, so it's a disc hinge for forward and back movement, and then it's a ball joint for the toes, so you can actually get some decent posing. Although, human feet don't really allow for a whole lot of balancing if they're spread out too far. But, I'm trying to get him into a decent, like, power-up squat. Oh, by the way, I for totally forgot, uh... Boot rotation. A little swivel at the boot. Got, the, got a little bit of rotation at the boot, which is always a good thing. Because where else are you going to put it? Oh, I know where you can do it. You can do it like the Power Rangers do. <laughs> do it halfway up the calf. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and break my calf off. That was so critical of those stupid kids. All right, so let's see here. Let's try to get Goku, since that's the next thing we need to do. We can get him into a really epic Kamehameha pose. Sort of. So we get that shoulder out a little bit more. It's like something else needs to just slightly move, right? That's just my opinion. Just they gave us a little bit more in the wrist. Yeah, just a little bit more wrist articulation, maybe. Like, actually have some real wrist movement, not just a ball joint. Right. But for that, we will bring in the wave of Kameas. Oh. No. Ha! Ha! Ah. <laughs> of course, it's pointing directly at the ground. Insert sound so, effect. So, insert. No, we can't insert sound effect. Toy will take us. They will make us disappear. We don't want that. Oh, yeah, we don't want to turn into SSJ9K. Exactly. SMP. There we go. That's how we do it. See, actually, I think those cutouts right there, that little, those notches, are to try to hold it. I stress the word try. So, there's Goku making Kamehameha waves. All over the place. We're making the one command wave. Yeah. All over. We need something for him to shoot at. Um, Not Wally. Squishy Junior. Ah. So Squishy Junior gets shot at. <laughs> oh, and guys, I guess because we have him out here, we can totally give him a scale. Because I forgot. Comparison. Comparison time to Jim Thunderbolt. That's your only comparison. I don't it's actually a things. really tall figure. Yeah, because I mean, there's it's not exactly a scale for it, so I mean, and maybe that's why they call it standard, the figure eyes standard. So this is just the way they're gonna do things. Here we go. He's shooting you guys. Goku doesn't like the Shoki audience. Though the cool, it, it would be neat, and I guess technically we can tilt it if we get this up high enough. Uh, we can't quite get it high enough. We need, like, a little more boost. I need a thing that's flat. Hmm. No, that's not flat. We're making things happen here, guys. Making things happen. I want to play with this. We can sort of be shooting up. <laughs> Break his neck. Break your neck, Goku. <laughs> I know the head tilts back a little bit further. There you go. Sort of an upright beam. It's not, not not the best thing in the world, but hey, I tried. Now, if we... Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Goku shooting towards the heavens. That That's a little bit better. But that that's how far you have to go at that point. But hey, you know, come anyway, wave. Nobody's going to complain. Alright guys, so final thoughts wise, this kit is actually very cool. I mean, Nick built it, and I'm glad he brought it over. Because um, now I really want some, I, I really want to actually get into one now. I think they're really awesome. And how much was it? Like 22, 23, somewhere in there? It wasn't quite 30. No, I think it was some, like 25. Yeah, some of the bigger kits are, are a bit more. But I think it's a really awesome thing. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I think when we were there, we saw... Super Saiyan 3 Goku. They had Super Saiyan 3 Goku. They had Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, two different forms of Frieza. One in the hover pod. One yeah. final form. 
I don't think they've got Golden Freeze yet, but he's not. He's more or less a variant. Yeah. Um, um, oh yeah, we saw the, the. If you get a Trunks, they have the. the, the oh, they have the ridiculous huge uh, Trunks time machine. That's great. Trunks in itself is actually cool because you get a couple different hair variants. Right. But I would love to have a Cell Saga Trunks. With the longer hair longer and everything hair, like that, Super or even look. Super Saiyan Two look would be great. Yeah, um, you know they they have a lot they can do with this line, and I really do dig it. And yeah, so guys, definitely go get you some if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, if you're a fan of Bandai and Gundam kits in general. Actually, is pretty awesome. I'm gonna play with the lighting here. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta should be coming out this month. Hold on, lighting effects. I'm really hoping for a Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Oh, yeah. No, Super Saiyan, any Vegito would be great. I'm actually just watching the light as I was playing with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, guys, we'll catch you on the next review. Nick has actually brought over quite a few things for us to look at, so look forward to that. I don't know when this review in particular is going to go live, but at least the last few Master Grade Mondays will or have been brought to us by Mr. Nick. So... Thanks for having you know, me every, on, Shoki. Oh, of course. Always. You're always welcome when you bring cool stuff Yay! over. Though there's still Power Ranger stuff you have yet to bring over. Yes. So we'll do that another day. We'll catch you guys later. Oh, sorry. Get all, as, as always, thank my Patreon guys. John, Andy, Steve, you guys are great. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to that in the future. And anybody else who wants to, right here in the screen, go join the Patreon and help keep this channel moving forward. Subscribe. Please subscribe if you like this video. <laughs> I, you know, I forget. And it's like I'm a little bit off my game, but it's all good, guys. We'll catch you guys. And if this is in the new year, happy new year, guys. If it's not, Merry Christmas and happy new year when it gets here. <laughs> all right. Catch you later, guys.